Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I've got my next shipment from the Eagle Moss, the Star Trek Starship Collection. And this time the box is a little bigger and heavier than usual. I had called them to change my credit card and I'm in the States so it's a different number now. I called them like I need to update my credit card. I wanted to go on this one instead of that one, blah, blah, blah. And while I had them on the phone, I inquired what would it take to bring me up to date to the latest U.S. issue. Because I'm falling, I'm a little bit behind. I didn't hear about it right away. And I don't, I'm not getting the most current subscription. I'd like to. They told me that they could put it on to I get two ships a month or every four weeks instead of the, or excuse me, four ships every four weeks instead of the two and asked if I would like to do that. I'm like, no, not right now, but now I know what I can do in the future. So a few days ago, I get an email, my next ships are on their way. Yay, wait, there's four ships. It turns out that the person either misunderstood or accidentally hit whatever button and I now, well not now, I was then subscribed to get twice the ships, four all together. That's great. I could probably squeeze it into the budget, but I've got some other things I need to pay off first. So I called them up. I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. Did you not want that? Well, I do, but I can't afford it right now. So they put me back on the two ships a month. And I told them not to worry about it. You already sent me the four. I'm a little bit closer to caught up. That's great. I want the ships. I just, I'm recovering from the holidays, but story time is over. But here we have the latest four ships that I'm getting for my collection. And I can't even remember all of what's in here. It'd be good to remember two. <clears throat> but as I say in the Metal Earth videos, Let's open it up, open up and see what's inside. Let's rip that out of there. And we have first off, I see the Borg tactical cube. Nice. I see. Ooh. Romulan Bird of Prey from the original series. Very nice. I see what I believe is the Saber class. And last but not least, I can't exactly remember. Time shift? Let's pull out the magazines and see. Issue 56, the Saber class. 57, the Bird of Prey. 58, Tactical Cube, Borg Tactical Cube. 59, the Relativity. Right. So, this could potentially be a long video, or I could split it into. We'll see. We'll just look over the magazine really quickly. Usual contents. We're starting off with 56, the Saber class. We have contents. We have our opening talk. A boatload of ships in the picture there. A little more detailed info. I look forward to the reads. I always do. Ship profile. Ah, designing the Saber class. That's often a fun read. Assembling the Borg Queen. I feel like we've read I've read this recently. But whatever. We've got to have something in here. On screen, trivia, appearances, and next up. We already know what's next up. Because it's already here. Number 57. Romulan Bird of Prey 2260s. 
we have contents, the opening few pages, ship profile, I like how the red background of this. Ah, the Star Trek does the Star Trek designs of War Ming Wa Ming Chang. Hmm, very nice. Don't know that name. This will be a fun read for me. Apparently he had a lot of different things going on. The Romulan Empire before the Tomat incident. More fun reads, I'm sure. And next up, Attack OQ, which, once again, I already have 58 contents. The opening few pages talking about the tactical cube and the pork, I'm sure. Ship profile. Can't imagine there'd be a lot there because, you know, we're not supposed to know a lot about them, I guess. Designing the board tactical cube. Hey, let's take a board and put some flat spots on it. Or board cube. Uh, so funny. The board evolve. And on screen appearances and so forth. And next up, the relativity. Which I've got right here. Contents. That's kind of a blurry looking picture. At least that light is. Hmm. Opening of the magazine. The profile of the ship. Captain Brexton. Oh, he gets his own section. Isn't that nifty? Star Trek Voyeur Best Special Effects. Okay. And on screen appearances. Oh, I look forward to that. The Botany Bay. But anyway, let me see what order were they in again. Saber class first. So let's crack in. Susie Saber class. Oh, it's a very lightweight ship. Where is the metal? Is it the top part? Wow. I guess this is some very thin tin on top. But this appears to be mostly plastic. It's very lightweight. It's also very compact. It's not a big ship. Lots of Aztec in detail on it, though. Got the registry on quite a bit. Nice little pinstriping. It's a lot of detail. It's a very small, lightweight, seemingly plastic ship. Entirely plastic, although. I do not I think this is metal. But it's very detailed. Very neat. Never seen this guy up close before. Never really. I don't know much about it. But that's very neat. Will look wonderful on the shelf with all the other Federation ships. And I look forward to the read. I'm just going to stuff this back in the box for now. And move on. The Bird of Prey. This is one I have heard a lot about the design because there was issues with it being a planar looking model. There were issues trying to get it to look good. And I'd say they did do a fantastic job. That's a wonderful seamless design they have there. That's that's wow. That is nice. Yeah. 
it is fairly plain of course it was designed that way you have a little bit of detail in here on the back the uh, windows are not they don't look colored they just look raised it's almost like braille over here same with the front it's not dots of color it just kind of feels like braille but this is nice be nice not to have the seam going along here in the back. But all in all, it's nice. I think the fin. <laughs> I think the fin on it is slightly crooked. Oh well. That's very nice. Fairly plain, very nice. Well, not simple very nice like it should be next up the, uh, the tactical cube it has to come <coughs> the board ships just have to come in their own weird little box don't they oh, oh wow I'm not sure where the metal is in this guy. He's... <laughs> That's amusing. It's not bad looking. Far, far better looking than the big subscriber freebie that they, they have, they hand out. Although it is similar, similarly plastic. But it has a lot of detail. I like how it has kind of a worn look on the more bare parts, if you will. As if to say, we are not concerned about aesthetics. We are concerned about function. But there's quite a lot of detail in all the bits and pieces. A lot of detail and Aztecing and doodads and circles and squares and wires and pipes and thingamabobs and whatchamadoozits, something and others. What do you call it? I like this. The stand amuses me as well. It is a basically a saddle. Stick that in there. I don't know if there's any particular way it's better off. Yeah. Yeah. Just sits on there, kind of like the shuttles, but at least it has a lip on either side. It'd be nice if it had some sort of little... be kind of nice if it had some sort of peg to hold it in place, but at the same time that would cause an indention where there should not be one. So it's a compromise. I get it. Very cool. And last but not least, somewhere, there it is. I've got a mess. You can't see off camera. The relativity. Futuristic looking Federation-ish ship that is quite the departure from what we know. This feels a little heavier. Feels, feels and looks as if the entire top portion is the metal and there is basically a plastic piece. You can quite clearly see the seam because, well, mainly there's a color difference. I'm not saying that doesn't belong, but there is. can't decide if it's a matter of how the light reflects off of it or if this is kind of like faded darker to more blue as it goes out interesting almost sparkly lots of neat little lines and circles slight shading the windows are braille again but it doesn't look bad. 
not one of the more exciting ships in my mind, but certainly not turning it down. Glad to have it. That's awesome. I want them all. There you go. Quick little overview. Things are going very much the same in the US as in the UK from what I see, so there's not a lot of difference to tell. Whenever there's mistakes over there, there's mistakes over here. I don't know how the subscription will work there if you want to catch up, but here in the US you can when I did talk to the guy, I was telling him I couldn't afford it, and he's like, Well we can knock you back to just one ship a month. I'm like, no, no, put me on two. Apparently they can go from anywhere from one one or two ships every couple of months to like five ships at a time. I'm not exactly sure. But if I have the money, definitely gonna catch up. Any rate, questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Keep on keeping them.